Hi guys, it's Miss Jess. Today I thought it might be fun for us to do a video where we're going to condition, but it's all going to be a contest. So you against me, or you can get your friends involved, your siblings involved, your parents, whoever you'd like to do this along with you. So basically, we do this sometimes at the gym, where I'll say like, everybody get in a hollow hold and whoever holds it the longest wins. So it's gonna be like that. I'm going to do the things as well and you wanna see if you could beat me, basically. It's kinda like how a handstand contest went. I'm sorry for that light in the background, Oof. Um, But I have eight things that we're gonna do. And so basically, I'll say what it is, we'll go up into it, and then see if you can hold it longer than me. If you do, great. If you come down before me, that's totally fine. You can either get back in it and try to stay up as long as me afterwards, or you can fast forward the video to the next thing so you can move on. Um, like I've said before, subscribe to this channel so you can see when we post our videos so you guys can be doing them along with us, keeping into our fitness for our gymnastics so that we, when we're able to open again, you come back, we won't be too far behind. Um, leave any comments down below you want. You can ask us questions, talk to us, whatever, we'll answer you. And let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is a push-up hold contest. So remember, make sure our shoulders are over our hands, our booty is not up in the air and our belly's not sagging, we're a nice straight line, okay? So let's see. Ready? Three, two, one, up. Maybe have some music playing in the background for you if you want so it doesn't seem so boring. Or so that time passes faster maybe. Maybe sing the alphabet. Or try to do it backwards. Fun fact, I can say the alphabet backwards. Oof, this is already hard. Oh man. You can do it. Make sure you're breathing. down. Let me know down below how many rounds you won and how many rounds I win. I would be interested to know. All right, the next one we're going to do is, I wrote them down, give me one second, a hollow hold. So remember we want our back, our lower back pressed into the ground and our shoulder blades are off the ground and our legs are off the ground, okay? No hands grabbing your legs. Trusting you to be honest. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Howls are hard, but we can do it. Burns. You got it. Next, 
next is going to be our arch hold. So lay on your belly, arms glued to your ears and straight, legs glued together and straight. We're going to lift up. Ready? Three, two, one, up. Make sure you're lifted nice and high. You got it. <sighs> I'm out. How'd you do that time? Did you beat me or no? I bet you guys did. I know you're all really strong. All right, next, we're gonna do a squat hold. So you're gonna hold it down for as long as you can, okay? Make sure your butt stays in line with your knees. Ready? Three, two, one, down. Whoa, I'll move over so you can see my face a little better. Nice and low, no hands on your legs. You feeling the burn? Because I am. Oh, I'm out. Oh. My legs started to cramp up. Whew. All right, next, if you have a wall nearby you, we're going to do a handstand contest against the wall. So either against the wall or like your couch, a door, your bed, whatever. But make sure that you have plenty of space. I don't want anybody getting hurt. I don't want anybody breaking anything. So if you don't have the room for this, that's totally fine. Just pass this, skip this one altogether. And that's fine. But if you do have space, join me in doing this handstand competition. I will let you decide if you want to do belly side or back side. I think I'm going to do back side. All right, ready? Three, two, one, up. Push through those shoulders, grow.
How you doing? Hanging in there? You can do it. Make sure you're growing. down. Whew. All right, next we're going to do a candlestick hold. Your arms can either be by your ears or down by your side, but your toes have to be up to the ceiling. They can't be over your face, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, up. Remember, all these positions we're holding are really important for our gymnastics tricks, so make sure you're doing them the right way and really focusing on them so that when we go back to doing more of our tricks, we've practiced the shapes a lot. Oh. All right, we're almost there. We're going to do two more competitions, okay? Really try to beat me on these last two. So, the first one is, well, the second to last one, I guess, technically, is going to be just holding your arms straight out to the side, palms facing backwards, shoulders pressed down. This may seem easy, but I promise you it's gonna really start to burn. For one, for two, it's really important that we can do this because, excuse me, think about it. In a lot of our routines, especially our beam and our floor routines, we often have to have our arms pressed to the side or up or somewhere. We can't just have them relaxed. And so our routines are sometimes over a minute long. So we gotta be able to hold our arms up and squeeze them the whole time, right? So let's do it, ready? One, two, three. Palms back, shoulders pressed down. If somebody came over and pushed on your arm, it shouldn't really move. You can do it. Has anybody been doing anything fun during this time of being at home? Any fun or new uh, board games you guys find, let me know. I really like board games. I'd love to hear some new or fun ones. Or if you read any good books. I've been liking to read lately, so if you read any good books, put their names down below so I can check them out. Oh, my shoulders are burning. Ah. Hemmed out. Ugh. That one really burns your shoulders. 
All right, last competition of the day. But if you like these, like if you like having who knows this competition, one, you can rewatch this video and do it as many times as you want. Two, if you like them and want some different ones, let me know in the comments or somehow let me know and I'll make another one of these videos with maybe some different ones. So if you like them, just let me know. All right, last one is a bridge. Not our stretching bridge, but our conditioning bridge. So your legs are a little bit apart, your back's on the ground, and you lift your booty in the air, and we gotta hold it up for as long as we can. Ready? Three, two, one, up. No hands under your butt holding it up, okay? So you use your own muscles. Don't give up on me, you got it. I know you can do it. You guys are all so strong. Almost there. Doing great. Oh, I'm out. Oof. All right, guys. Well, I had a great time doing these conditioning contests with you. I hope you enjoyed it, too. I really miss all of you, and I really hope to see you all so soon. I hope you're enjoying these videos, though. I hope you're enjoying your time at home with your family. And, yeah, I hope the weather gets nicer outside so we can start doing stuff outside. That would be a lot of fun. So, thank you for doing this with me, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!